Hi, my name is Kate Wilhite and I am a watercolor artist. For the Summer Art Lab project, I'm going to be focusing on the first 10 paintings of a 78 painting series where I'm going to be painting a full tarot deck. Each painting is going to be a card in the tarot deck, um, a highly symbolic painting that um, is going to be a vehicle for self-exploration. I've already finished a few of these paintings, The Fool, The Magician, The High Priestess, and The Emperor, and this week I'm focusing on The Empress painting. For the first video, however, I'd like to just talk about my process. When I start a painting, I do research first, and for this project that means a lot of reading about tarot, but it also means going through my old sketchbooks and old paintings I've done to find experiments that I liked and things I'd like to retry in this painting. I do some composition sketches and take reference photos. For the fool, I wanted to use myself as the figure because the fool represents the beginning of a journey to self-discovery and I thought that a self-portrait would be fitting so I had a friend take the reference photos um, under my direction but the rest of the reference photos I take myself. I then start sketching the figure out. I don't like the way that graphite looks under watercolor, and so I do the initial sketch in a light watercolor wash instead of pencil. And then once I have the painting down, um, I start building up color in a million layers. The layers are transparent, so each new one adds complexity to the colors of the painting. And I really do just add layers and layers and layers until I feel like it's uh, complex enough and finished. I build up some parts of the painting more and leave some more undefined. I add patterns and small details to the parts of the painting that I want to stand out the most. And I really love pattern because it contrasts so drastically with the organic shapes that the watercolor makes. My paintings are all about duality and ambiguity and in between spaces. And that's reflected not just in the imagery and concept, but also in the way that the paint is applied to the paper. That is my basic process, and next week I am going to talk a little bit more about the symbolism in the paintings.